Nate, it's a weird one. It's weird west. <laughs> Nate, you and I jumped into early access with uh, our first impressions of Weird West. This is definitely a weird title. Right now, I'm sitting around the four hour mark. We're allowed to talk about chapters one, or what they call journeys. Journeys one and journeys two. How far, how many journeys did you get into? How many hours are you in? Well, I'm roughly 10 hours in, and I think I'm still on the first journey. It's honestly a weird, little bit eh? confusing with the way this game kind of works, so I'm not even sure yeah. what chapter I'm on. But yeah. the, <laughs> the game kind of starts off pretty strong. You wake up to yeah. your children being killed, massacred, Ouch. and your husband being captured. So from there, you are, I guess, a retired bounty hunter, so you whip out the yeah. old irons and go on a mission to find your husband. And that's yeah. where this game takes off, man. It has so much freedom within it. You go to your first town, Grackle, and talk to some locals around just to maybe get some information about your husband. But from there, you really are given freedom to go wherever you want, which is, I think, the biggest highlight about this game. The freedom and the choice, right? It really comes down to some of the dialogue choices, too. You can literally kill every single person in this game main characters aside like even them you can yeah you can kill names. everyone man main characters everyone. too <laughs> which is pretty cool right the fact that you can take out everybody and still continue the story the search for your husband is kind of a unique thing that doesn't happen very often in games at all for me early access to the four hour where i'm sitting at right now i've had a decent time a little confused it definitely is it goes with the title weird there's yeah. no doubt about it and i've you know it is i'm sitting in with some of these creatures and i'm like what is going on here and i don't want to give away too many spoilers here nate but it, all in all like you know what i'm not uh i'm not overly pumped about the game but i'm not really that disappointed either i'm kind of in the middle right i'm lukewarm i guess i would say yeah so you know mechanics there's all kinds of loot my biggest problem is dude there's so much loot but i, I have no ammo like i'm constantly running out of ammo and getting slaughtered by the amount of enemies that come running at you with bags on their head that drives me absolutely nuts <laughs> dude it's like the cheapest way to get out of creating unique ai guys or characters mm -hmm. to fight against is just you put a mask on the mask okay i'd rather do the mask and it's like a paper bag yeah oh, my goodness. <laughs> Man, I was just like, this isn't cool. Everybody's running around the paper bag on, and you're in the weird west. I get it, but do something else. It's weird west, right? You have cool creatures in here, things you're fighting with, things you actually side with, which is really unique and stuff. And then some of these powers. Nate, you got into some of the powers. Yeah, and I honestly found them a little underwhelming. You have a couple different skill trees that you can unlock, and most of your abilities are sort of tied to each weapon. And I found them just... Yeah. Like I said, underwhelming. You just, I was using them in combat, and the combat's just okay. It's all in real time, and there, you yeah. have this dodge ability that is really what you need to focus on using, and then hiding behind cover. And I guess, you know, one thing that's cool, too, is that the environment is quite you know, user-friendly. There are all sorts of things, explosive barrels, poison barrels, yeah. bushes to set on fire, and, you know, all this to use to kill your enemy, which is fine, but... I don't know, it just didn't really just hook me like I was hoping. The stealth is pretty boring. All you do is sneak up behind a character and press right trigger. I'm using a controller, you're using yeah. mouse and keyboard. I'm so you just keyboard. go up behind them, knock them out, and then you try to hide their body. Hiding their bodies, man, who knows? You could hide up behind a fence completely hidden or in a bush and they'll still get discovered. But Which these AI weird. at the same time, you'll you'll knock out one guy right beside somebody else and they won't even yeah. notice, but yet they'll notice a guy 30 feet away and hidden in a bush that's supposed to hide things. So <laughs> it, it's just, all in all, man, it's too frustrating in my opinion. Like the stealth is boring, the combat's okay, and I mean, uh, I like the idea of the freedom within this game, but to get from point A to point B, I'm just not that impressed. Which is unfortunate. I didn't have any issues with the stealth when I hid them within the world, within the bushes, right? An eyeball will come up with a line through it. It'll let you know that you're hidden as well as whoever you've tossed in that bush mm. is hidden as well. So I didn't run any into any of those issues at all. I did sneak up beside somebody on a chair 
and that mechanic dude trying to stealth them out like they just oh. popped up it was just like yep. that's weird and I, somebody on the bed i wanted to take it on the bed they just popped up too i was like oh man there's just certain little polished things that kind of need to be tweaked a little bit right and graphically it's very mediocre i mean they chose <sighs> this sort of cell shading kind of graphic style grotesque, which i you know yeah. like i like that from borderlands but in this game you're just looking at a very bland character 90 percent of the time <laughs> It's, uh, you know, I didn't mind the art style, the character, the self, but like their faces are awful. That's the problem it comes down to. I appreciate the comic book. I love comic book art styles, especially within video games. I think it really works well, but the face itself was just like a wash for me. And I was like, man, you had everything going for that art style that I was appreciated of until you kind of get a little bit into that face. Dude, let's talk about the camera angles because Oh, this can really get to you sometimes. It's got this, you know, top down kind of aspect to it, but you can zoom right in. And I'm sorry, you can't zoom right in because it's to the point, Nate, that you're so close to this third person perspective that you feel like the camera has just been cut off of like yep. your forehead, like right above your eyebrows, right? I'm just mm -hmm. like, I just want to be able to see just a little, little higher or a little, a little higher, like a little right? lower it's to just, see more forward. Uh, it's just. The camera yeah. angles are awful, man. You're trying to stealth through buildings. You'll you'll oh, open tough. a door, so walk in, and then for some reason the wall is still fully opaque in front of you. You can't see what you're doing. So you have to walk in 10 yeah. feet, then get noticed by the guy that you didn't see, unless you use that yeah. potion or whatever that allows you to see enemies oh, yeah. through walls. Yep. But it's like, ah, <laughs> it's just the cameras, man. I don't know. Like, did they just not really put that much time into actually playing their game to notice that frustrating it was trying to stealth yeah. through 90 percent of the game it is really unfortunate i do love the fact that dialogue seems to matter here i think that has a has some weight and some consequences to it i think that's one of the standout highlights is the dialogue options that allow you to well, it's really pretty early on but you have this ability to go you talk to these people at the farm you're there, there to take basically take the farm dude i just chose not to right i left the farm i left them alone and went a different route to kind of mm -hmm. go about my objective i thought that was really cool dude i love games that do that and then when they do it well and i think weird west really takes that into account and hammers that home and does such a good job of you don't have to do certain things if you don't want to and it has consequences and weights to it right you can choose to free some of these people and then they're friends for life and that sort of thing there's a lot of cool aspects yeah. to it but there's a lot of a lot of misses too unfortunately yeah i think just the gameplay and the cumbersome of trying to loot bodies while there's yeah. books and doors everything's all around you it's just it really just takes away from what's great about this game man so all in all i first impressions not very impressed man <sighs> not very impressed what about you me i'm lukewarm on the game right that's what i said it had some highs but it has a lot of lows for me it is on all consoles it's on pc it's coming to game pass so a lot of people will be able to jump in and kind of test it out for themselves so keep that in the back of your mind if you want to take a look at the game if you have game pass i think that's a good move for you and a good opportunity for you to you know at least jump into the world of weird west and see for yourself you know how does it, these choices and these mechanics work for you and do they or don't they click and a lot of it honestly just doesn't click nate 